It's no easy task setting up and maintaining an external integration that coordinates the exchange of millions of records. These types of import jobs can require months of planning, along with a great deal of IT effort to pull off successfully. With the Rome release, we're introducing a brand new solution called Integration Hub Import to help you reimagine these large and complex data import jobs. Integration Hub Import provides a structured framework wrapped in an intuitive user interface that walks you through everything you need to execute and monitor even the largest import jobs. This new mechanism is built around three steps. You configure a data source, map the data to a target table, then schedule your import job. Before we set up an import job together using this new solution, let's take a look at what this effort used to entail. You'd first need to define a data source. It's important to note here that there are many types of data sources that can be defined here, though large jobs, such as those best suited for Integration Hub import, will leverage the sequenced approach of data streaming. Next up, you'd configure a transform map to help your instance ingest the external data. This will define what fields are pulled in and how they are used with respect to your tables on the Now platform. The field maps are one of the key reasons Integration Hub import is so awesome. It takes all of the scripting out of this activity and gives you the same functionality in a low-code capacity. To wrap things up, you'd establish a scheduled data import job to execute the aforementioned config. Now let's jump into Integration Hub import and see how this process looks now. After outlining a name and description for our import job, we first specify the source configuration where we select a data stream to handle the job of importing external data into our instance. With that complete, I now map to target, which allows me to specify the table the external data will be imported to. I've set up a table for this specific import called Jira Issues, and we'll select that here. Now for the fun part, data mapping. I click on the record for the target table I just selected, and now have a drag and drop way to map source data elements to fields in my target table. On the left, I have a hierarchical representation of my source data, and on the right, I have all of my destination table's fields. Both panels let me quickly see the type of each entity for easy correlation. The match indicator on the target table is a powerful feature that, when toggled on, checks the target table for matching data, and if found, it updates existing records instead of creating new ones. For my unique identifier, I'm going to use the key field from my source data stream and map that to the number field in my target table. These drag and droppable elements are called data pills and will be a familiar concept to anyone with a little flow designer experience. I'll use the match toggle here to ensure no duplicate issues are created if they already exist on my table. Now I'll set a few more fields to populate my table with a short description, a direct URL to the JIRA issue, and a couple of other elements of interest. Should the need arise, you can quickly incorporate codeless transformations that let you perform field-specific operations like trimming, case change, type conversion, and more. What was previously a tedious process involving multiple screens, scripting, and a bit of intuition has now transformed into a quick, transparent experience. With the mapping taken care of, I'll save and proceed to schedule imports. I'll set up a new schedule, and after setting my cadence, I'll specify that I want a concurrent import to reduce processing time given my large dataset. Using this approach, I can partition the import payload to batches of 1,000 records at a time. As you can see, in just a few moments, I've completed a relatively complex data import integration. After executing the job manually or waiting for the scheduled job to run, you'll be able to see another outstanding aspect of Integration Hub import, the executions dashboard. This takes the guesswork out of large import jobs. I can clearly see every import execution that the system has run and dive into all sorts of details, such as the import set rows, a variety of logs, and of course, any errors encountered. Using this mechanism, I can rest assured that I have full traceability of my imports should the need arise. Integration Hub import is a perfect example of how integrations should be. Powerful, yet intuitive. Be sure to check out the official documentation to learn more about Integration Hub import and see how it can help you manage large and complex import jobs on the Now platform in a simple and reliable fashion. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.